Uh, welcome back to my channel. This is Ingenious Giacomo and today uh, I was called to check on an air conditioning who wasn't working. It was tripping the breaker. I went on the roof. It's a package unit, five ton. By the way, this breaker is way oversized. 40 amp will do because it doesn't have any heat. It's just a cool only five ton package unit. Uh, R22 system. Pretty old but uh, still within guidelines of uh, the power. Now the issue is there were aluminum wires coming from the roof and uh, they branched out with the copper and they just use a regular wire nut so the excessive heat created the poor connection they're supposed to use a special connector anytime you mix copper and aluminum you're not supposed to do anything like that that that's, uh, looks like um, I mean I don't know it's one of those rinky dinky jobs they just put this panel by the way but I don't know these people are really not pleased with what I'm seeing with a lot of the stuff like you know the, the one ground and the sharing two uh, I mean it, it, it says up to code but it's weird you know so you have a lot of dual pole doing mixed circuit because they're sharing the, the, the return anyway so to make a long story short the, the breaker keep tripping uh, and um, once I opened the panel I noticed why I went to the roof everything was good there so just to make sure I said but I mean first thing we will check the roof because the panel was new I didn't expect a problem like this it was a dead short this one was actually touching there where you see the burn so that's uh, what we call a very rinky dinky job and uh, poor content created a lot of heat and it technically melted the wire nut it was not rated for anything like this uh, I mean just kind of load uh, I'm going to have the electrician who did the job fix it because I could do it but it's not fair they got paid for the job. It was done for a friend of mine only like a few months ago so they're gonna need to come back and rewire the whole thing and put a straight wire to the air conditioning. Thank you again for watching and be careful when you do electrical work in your house I strongly suggest you keep an eye on them. But something you really should be careful when you have people doing electrical work so this um, on a friend of my business, they just redid their panel and they charged quite a few bucks. I mean, it was a lot of money, but uh, they put um, technically some aluminum wires coming from the roof from air conditioning uh, and they, they could not reach the new location of the breaker. So they put an extension in copper without using the special connector. And now as you can see, that's the old connector, what's left of it. It was a dead short, it could really burn. That's pretty much what was left. I mean, it's crazy. Oh, another piece there on the ground. So, it's completely cooked. So that's uh, my old connector. This one somehow, I guess one side was, oh, it was a poor contact, what it is. If you don't do it properly, so technically they shove inside this little thing. I mean, you see versus the wire. No way in hell the wire is gonna go right here. So it creates a poor contact. And because the lack of, of um, you know, it creates a lot of heat. It creates a lot of heat at the point where it actually melted the old wire nut. So, I mean, uh, the best way for me is to go get it. Uh, but I told my friend to call whatever did the job and fix it properly using the special copper to aluminum connectors. So um, I was called for the air conditioning, not working, but actually the AC was fine. Problem was right here into the brand new panel. Okay, thank you again for watching. This is Engineer Chuck. I always check when you see stuff like that in your panels with wire nuts and like that. that, that most of the time, uh, has to be done very carefully to secure you have a very good connection, especially on large wire like this, a wire nut. And when you mix aluminum with copper, there is some issues.